I basically started watching YouTube videos. Like there are a million YouTube videos that explain you how to build things. So I just bought a bunch of aluminium profiles, bought some tools, had no idea what I was doing and just built it the first like very janky robotic crane system that was able to pick up a brick. Monumental. Automating on-site construction with bricklaying robotics. Their mission, to bring software, robotics, and machine vision to construction to tackle affordable housing, sustainable and safe construction, and beautiful artisanship. There's such a big gap in terms of labor shortages, especially with masonry, where I don't think we are going to take any jobs. There might be a shift, like people who are actually thinking about becoming a mason, maybe becoming a robot operator, but existing masons, we're not going to take Sounds the job. Sounds really cool. Want to iterate really quickly? We don't want to build the perfect thing, we want to learn as quickly as possible. Having the tools in-house to basically enable the team to try as many things as they can. Automation is tricky. You want to have something that is computer controlled and repetitive and you want to do the job. Uh, construction is, I think, probably one of the hardest because we apply robotics to a site that we might have not seen before. So that makes your company super valuable. Your moat is actually done compared to that software. That's what we think too. We're building a pretty nice company. A lot of people are looking to work at a company with an important mission. So construction initially sounds boring, maybe to some people, but then you explain like, why are we doing this? Why is this important? Why is this important to society? And what we hear during interviews that a lot of people like, I've never thought really deeply about this industry. And suddenly they get excited. And then they get excited when they see what we're doing here, what impact it could make. Yeah, I was gonna say, you add in the super founder and suddenly- No, no, for me, I mean, whatever, even if uh, I always make a joke, whatever fellow I was planning to do, I would follow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you, did you go to robots or did robots come to you? I frame it as the best founder is the opposite of the good. A good founder is MIT, Harvard, Linear, uh, great references, McKinsey, BCG, uh, everybody loves him. Actually, that's nice, but the best founders are scruffy, non-linear, have non-obvious backgrounds, not all, always referenceable, great. You're a CEO of a tech company or a bricklaying company? I mean, right now, we, I'm technically the CEO, I think, of a bricklaying company. <laughs>